chapter on how we uh, put the uh, business confidence survey together. We worked uh, in combination with uh, Roland Berger. Southwest of China, 39% of the members, they feel more welcome today than a few years ago. Well, hello everybody, uh, very nice to be in Chongqing today and uh, it's uh, a delight to see so many uh, people here and uh, a number of new faces, which I guess uh, also uh, shows we have a, a few new members which have joined as well. European companies, their confidence on the Southwest China's market. We recently did this business confidence survey, which I'm here in Chongqing today to present. Um, interestingly, how we uh, asked a number of questions across China, mm -hmm. and what we've done is put together all those questions, and then we've looked at the differences across China. Southwest China is the most positive area for current investment and future investment of all European Chamber members. So that's a great positive for Southwest China. I see. Can you uh, maybe tell us all the data you have seen, right? Like, mm. um, no matter it's like regionally or like do domestically as a whole, right? Mm. Uh, it, are there any like uh, numbers or data or performance of the country yeah, mm -hmm. or regions that impresses you the most? Well, um, I, I would say that uh, Southwest China um, the, the local governments are very supportive to attracting new businesses and I think the European uh, Chamber members have benefited from a very positive approach by the um, governments in, uh, in southwest China. That's both Chongqing and Chengdu. So uh, um, that that's, uh, helps and benefits, but not just European companies. I think southwest China uh, is attracting businesses from across China. Chinese companies are also relocating to this area as well to take um, uh, benefit of the enormous improvement in the infrastructure in this area. Uh, the the uh, road transport, rail transport, the ability to connect from both Chongqing um, and Chengdu, Sichuan into Europe through the new rail connections is, is really uh, very beneficial to many businesses. You know like the China's new investment law actually mm -hmm. is just got approved like March 15 this year, right? Yes, and it will yes. come to, into effect to, like the beginning of next year. Yes. Um, actually, I would like also to hear about like how, uh, what are these European companies yeah, mm. in China, how they feel about this new law? Yes. Yeah. The new laws are good. There are benefits. It's, um, the European Chamber stands for um, an equal playing field in uh, business activity. So we like to see that state-owned enterprises, privately owned uh, Chinese companies, as well as foreign investor companies, are treated on an equal footing. And I think the new foreign investment law goes some way to improving that situation. And then, uh, under the Belt and Road Initiative, right, and how do you see Chongqing's potential in cooperating with uh, uh, European companies or attract like the investment from Europe? Well, a Belt and Road is a very interesting subject because it's a very high level um, investment program uh, organized by central government and of course southwest China, Chongqing and, and, and Sichuan, Chengdu are part of that Belt and Road initiative. And we can see the improvements in the infrastructure projects which I already mentioned which are, um, are definitely beneficial to European businesses. However, actually participating in projects which are directly as a result of the Belt and Road are difficult for European companies to access. And part of that, I think, is that there's not enough information given to our European member companies on what possible projects they could get involved in. So I think it would help if the local and national government perhaps give more information to foreign investor companies to show them where they could possibly invest as part of the Belt and Road Initiative.